early in the game. We can't afford to take a death. Can't afford a death that early in the game. It just can't happen. That was an e that was that's an easy stage. That is an easy stage. We can't die there. It can't happen there. Gonna need a good clean start, man. Gonna get a good clean start or it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I know, there was health really close to that point, and unfortunately couldn't quite live long enough to get it. I got screwed over, man. I felt like I was hitting my buttons and... Like, see, if I'm hitting the buttons at a very good pace like that, they can't break through. But if there's like a delay, if you don't time the, the button presses right, they're gonna get you. They're gonna get you. Hate having to start over, but I, I gotta have lives. Gotta have those lives. Gotta get all the lives we can get our hands on for this. Because that last level is gonna be... That last level is gonna be something. And the level before the last one is also insane. So we got to get to those levels with a lot, with a big pile of lives. I'm gonna die on those later levels. That's a, that's guaranteed. But these early levels, we can get through them with losing maybe one life, maybe one. Oh, you can totally do ghosts and goblins without save states. No problem. You can totally do that. Yeah, you do get uh, lives, you do get extra lives from when you get a certain amount of points. So you, you'll get them automatically just from killing guys. That's definitely going to be a thing. So ideally, we would like to get to like stage four with about seven or so lives. That would be extremely good if that can happen. I don't know if it will. But that would be the most ideal thing possible for this type of game. Yeah, it just takes practice for dealing with those guys. It just takes practice. Lots and a perfect run. Especially on the later loops. <laughs> Especially on those deep loops. That's where all the problems lie. Alright, no problem there. Yeah, there's also, uh, uh, when you break barrels on a certain stage that are rolling at you, sometimes you can get an extra life from those as well. It seems like that's totally random, though. Which is unfortunate, but having to rely on RNG to get extra lives. But I'm, I'm not counting on that happening. I'm hoping it does. Alright, there's a way to get health back after you kill this guy. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. I'm also anxious to try Ghost and Goblins again on the, the NES version we've been doing with like starting over on loop one just seeing the comparing the difficulty since I'm used to the deep loops. I would like to see if I could like do a decent quick run of loops one and two. I Probably not. It's still going to be a hard game but it, w it would be fun to try. I'd like to do a, a one credit clear of the original Ghost and Goblins. I, I, that may have to be a really long term goal because I don't see it happening anytime soon. Hey, Retro Fan, what's going on? What's going on, man? Good to see you as always. We're doing a little final fight challenge here. I'm doing good. I'm just hoping my internet holds up. That's my only concern. <laughs> the game here is more than likely gonna either go good or bad I'm not worried about that if we fail we just try again no big deal but my internet's bad there's nothing I can do about that absolutely nothing alright that's not good there guy just slapped me in the face alright I'll take okay, just took a big hit there that's bad Yeah, you can kill the dragon with the shield in Ghost and Goblins. You have to in some in the last stage. I don't know any other way to do it. Hey, Pug, what's going on as well, dude? Welcome, Pug. Good to see you as always. What are you up to? I'm sure you've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, knowing your skill set in that game. <laughs> I bet you haven't played Team Fortress 2 in a while either. 
I haven't actually played it since, last, since June. I've not had time to play it since I don't stream it anymore. I just... Probably not even good at it anymore. But Pug, ho hope all is well, man. Crud is no problem with alert, dude. I really appreciate it. Always appreciate that. It's been a minute, yeah. <laughs> Same here. And Somniosis, what's going on as well, dude? Welcome in. Good to see you as always. Thank you so much for the host as well. Last time I was on, I got on to, oh, some Halloween cases. Didn't actually play. I got you. Anything good? <laughs> Probably not. More than likely not. I know you've had some good luck opening cases, though. I know you found some pretty rare stuff, and that's, and that's pretty awesome. Cases were awful. Okay. <laughs> that's not surprising. Not even a little bit surprising. And I'm gonna hold position here. Oh, never mind. That guy was stuck on the barrel for a second. That would have been great to hold him there, but that's not gonna happen. Tip for you guys that haven't played Final Fight before. Keep a container on the screen like the barrel, and you only have to fight two guys at a time instead of three. That's a big deal for this kind of type of challenge. Because I'm just going to keep that barrel right there and make sure I just keep fighting two guys at once instead of three, which will really be a big deal in the long run. I'm doing good in Somniosis. My only concern is my internet speed. My fluctuating internet. That's my only concern. Other than that, I'm doing great. Playing some Conquest Crystal Palace on NES earlier. Dude, that's a really hard game, Retro Fan. That is a hard-ass game. I've got it on my list to eventually play. I'm kind of dreading it, but it's a good game. It's really hard. I've watched other people play it quite a bit as well. Nothing in there. Okay, I was hoping for a sword or something. Something good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Alright, let's throw him over here. Alright, I'm going to kind of move up and down a little bit here. Try and trap him against the wall. This is definitely the thing to do. Alright, he almost got me with a charge there. That was really close. Alright, a lot of beat up right there. Beat him up. Alright, two more guys are going to drop in. Need to beat these guys without getting hit. Not pulling a knife on me, man. I, I know how it works. Alright, we got him dead now. Got him dead now. Dead. Alright, good job. Good job, Mixer. You got lucky, basically. Never played Final Fight before, but this is making me want to play Streets of Rage. It, it's always a debate. What's better, Streets of Rage or Final Fight? They're both awesome. I, I'm a big fan of both. I really enjoy both. I've done Streets of Rage 2 on the hardest difficulty. And also Final Fight on the hardest difficulty with the other two characters. And we need to do it with this guy. Appropriately, appropriately named guy to finish the trilogy here of maximum difficulty one credit clears. So this will be the last challenge for this game, at least that I can think of for now. I've been going around the idea of selling my inventory, but it took me so long to collect some of the things I got and don't really want to just throw it away. I agree, Pug. I agree. Because the chance of getting that stuff back would be hard to do because you, you don't know what the prices of that stuff's going to do. How much money you think you could get, Pug, for all your stuff? I know you've got a lot of good stuff. I know you've got good stuff. Yeah, Retro Fan, it's a good game. Conquest of the Crystal Palace is excellent. Nothing at all bad about that game. The high-end difficulty is actually a big positive. Alright, did not really want that, but... Alright, I'm gonna do that again. Push this guy away. Don't like where this is going. Alright, both those guys are dead. This Billy guy can actually one-shot me, so I should probably go ahead and get the pizza. Nice hitbox there. Yeah, Final Fight came out a little before Streets of Rage. S Sega needed a beat-em-up game to compete. 
man, I am really lucky right there. That somehow deflected the knife from behind. That's not usually that usually doesn't work that way. Okay, taking damage, taking some damage, taking a little damage. My God. Oh, it can unravel so quickly. It can unravel so quickly in this game. I do have seven lives now, but I'm probably going to die at least once on the boss. I hate the boss of this stage. Alright, he's dead. Two thousand dollars, that's tempting, Pug. That's pretty tempting. That's really tempting. I'll have to think hard on that one. I guess it depends on, are you going to keep playing Team Fortress 2? That would be the question. If you're going to keep playing it, I would stick with all that stuff. But if you're not, I don't know. Cool. You guys hit me off screen, man. Well, if we die at this point, I may just keep the run going. Yeah, I'm going to get killed here. I'm going to get killed. God damn it, man. God damn it. Vicious, 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 vicious enemies that surround you and hit you from off the screen and everything else. That guy just tapped me one time. There goes another fourth of my health. I'm not sure I can do this, guys. I am not sure I can pull this challenge off. The enemies just obliterate your health in this game. And not keep my health up. get some health. If I die here again, we may have to start again, start over again. I don't want to, but chances of success are going to plummet if I don't keep some lives. Alright, at least there's food there. Alright, that's a good sign. I don't, I'm tempted to... I don't know when to actually pick it up, because... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get it now. I think that would be the smart play. Before they can kill me. Copy of Shinobi Legions come. Come hook Sega Saturn up. Oh my god, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah, I have not played the Streets of Rage 4. That's the new one. It's kind of, it's in a way it's somewhat of a remake, and in a lot of ways it's just a brand new game. And it's really, really good. Oh, there's a fan-made remake, too, of Streets, and Ra of Streets of Rage. I did not know that. Okay, I was only thinking of Streets of Rage 4. All right, so if there's a fan-made remake, all right, well, now I want to check that out at some point, too, because there, there's some good fan-made stuff out there. Taking more hits, man. Taking more hits. This challenge might be a lot harder than I gave it credit for. This version of the game right here, Final Fight Guy, is harder than the original Final Fight. How can I not take a hit there, man? How can I not take a hit? Looks like this controller needs some work. Like I need another controller. I'm jamming the button sometimes and I'm not getting a response at all. Alright, we're through this part. Is the pug, is the price of that stuff going up or down? I guess that could help determine if you want to sell it or not. All right, good enough right there. Need to God damn it, you just you don't catch a break here, man. You don't catch any breaks. I'm going to go ahead and get the food again. It's nice to... I don't know if I'm good. <laughs> just beat the living crap out of me, and there's not much I can do about it. All right, another guy down beat the living crap out of me. I have not finished single player Smash Brothers yet. I need to go back and do that. Smash Ultimate. Doing every fight on hard mode, that that's fun. That's really been a fun challenge. Oh my god. No, we don't want to buy any followers. Don't want that. Get banned. Get banned. All right, have to try that. Yeah, the Streets of Rage 4. I've heard that's really good, Selbeck. I've heard that's good. Heard that's good. I haven't checked the prices in a while. Okay. That makes sense. 
I know prices like fluctuate here and there on that type of stuff. I don't actually own any rare stuff in Team Fortress 2. I got my set of stuff I liked and I never really got interested in collecting anything else. Alright, let's kill this guy. You like the Street Fighter shirt? You're rocking Mega Man 2 shirt today? Nice! <laughs> Yeah, my girlfriend, uh, she wanted me to get some uh, retro s shirts and stuff from games of this era. So I was like, you know what, that would be perfect since I'm streaming these kind of games now. That would absolutely be perfect. Alright, that guy's going to be dead. This guy's going to take some damage. Yeah, I really like World of Light. I thought it was a lot of fun need to go back and finish it. I'm kind of deep into it. I, I beat the first boss, whatever it's called, Gleam. And then I'm in like the Dark World or whatever now. So that's how World of Light's going on my playthrough of Smash Ultimate. It, it's fun. It's really a lot of fun. Range Pro Kill Street Gunslinger sells 100. Oh, so okay. Made a nice profit on that one then, didn't you? That's some nice profit. Can't go wrong with that. This guy's going to end up killing me a couple of times. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm pressing the button, man. I'm going to have to get another controller. I'm jamming on the buttons here, and it's not responding. I hate this boss, by the way. This is an RNG boss fight. Taking a lot of damage. Come on, he's not even... Now he's almost dead. Be great to kill this guy without dying. That's the first time I've ever killed that guy without dying. I've never killed that guy without dying before. Ever in my life. Alright, so then maybe that's a good sign right there. Maybe that's a good sign. Yes, Selbeck, that's what I was thinking too. The World of Light in Smash Ultimate is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Since a lot of the game's focus is on multiplayer and stuff, I thought it was just going to be like some corny little short little quest and it'd be over, but it, it's taken hours and hours and hours to get through. It, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, man, it's too hot today. Where's the cold weather? It's 68 here in the Tuscaloosa area of Alabama. It's 68, and it's December 3rd? Oh what God. is going on, man? What the hell's going on? Played Rygar through a few days ago. Dude, Rygar is awesome, retro gamer. I love... I, I love... I mean, retro fan, sorry. <laughs> I love Rygar. I haven't played it in a very long time, but it, it's it's really good. Gotta do better at this early part of this stage. This cost me dearly last time. I ended up losing a life here. I'm gonna lose a life here again, man. Gonna lose a life here again. He won't get close to me. He won't get close to me. All right, they're going to lose another life. Oh, my God. Another life is going to be lost. There's a life. My God. Oh, this challenge might be over my head. <laughs> Beat the boss that I normally can't beat and then immediately lose a life on regular guys. There goes another life. Yeah, text in the game reminds you of Afterburner. Thanks for the GG's, guys. I appreciate it. Why do you break the guy's car? It's one of the bad guy's cars, so obviously you just, you get, just get some points for doing it, which did give me a one-up. That's nice, but... It's not going to do any good if I can't stay alive against these guys, that's for sure. Yeah, well, the, once again, it's war, it, it was colder during Halloween. Now it's, no, now it's December, and it's, it's heating up again. I don't get it. 
I don't understand what's going on. I know the weather fluctuates, but back in the, back like 30 years ago and stuff, when I was in elementary school, it was never like this. It's, it got cold, it stayed cold. It's not doing that now. You have these warm spells that didn't happen back in the day. How did I get hit there? I took it, just took a hit right there from nothing. Dude, where is 36? When Somniosis, where are you? I forgot. I forgot where you were. I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. Alright, these big guys, we're gonna pin them in the wall and kill them. I think there's some other guy that just walked in and, he, yep, he's getting hit too. Alright, good enough. Okay, I'm gonna throw this guy over to the corner. Alright, let's see if we can get some health or something here. Gotta get some health. It's, it's a little bit, it's something. something. There goes the sword. There it goes. Wish I could do this without taking hits, man. <laughs> I wish I could do it. Oh, that's right. You're in Wisconsin. I totally forgot about that. My bad. Cool. There goes another life. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Secret. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Thank you so much for the follow. It's not going well. <laughs> it's going terrible. It's going just absolutely dreadful and terrible. Dreadful and terrible. <laughs> Not going to be a 1cc. Not going to get that. Now I've lost the sword. This is just going to have to be one of those challenges we continually give effort for. Like, pop it on now and then. Try it again. Try it here. Try it there. And that's just the way this is going to have to be. Because I don't see it happening unless we get deeper into the game with more lives. These guys would already be dead right now if I had the sword. Come on, man. The hitboxes are garbage. John C. Riley. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> Supposed to get close to six inches of snow. Yeah, man. That's. <clears throat> Excuse me. That sounds great. I'll take some of that snow here. It's, it's humid and hot here today. 60. Really? 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 I was swinging my weapon and you pile drive me? Really? Let's see what you guys are saying. Make sure I'm not falling behind here. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Retro Gamer, I'm not surprised it's cold where you are. I'm not a bit surprised by that. I'll take some of that cold. Send some this way as well. All right, got our health back, but having to get pick up the health that early is probably not gonna help me too much we still got a bunch of guys to kill here I almost feel like my controller is limiting me here I'm hitting some buttons sometimes and the controller isn't even responding man not good not good Janice, what's going on? 73 in Oklahoma right now. I'm sure it'll drop substantially soon with a little warning. That, it's weird. Like, I complain about these heat waves and stuff, or what is kind of a heat wave. And they, they, it'll end quickly, thankfully. And then it'll be really cold again, but we go through these warm spells, and it, it's kind of crazy. It shouldn't be happening this time of year, but it does. Pugs, yeah, Pug's got family in Oklahoma for sure. Welcome, Janice, by the way. It's very good to see you, man. 
Welcome in for the first time. What has gotten how hot? What's the hottest that's gotten there in Alabama in recent years? Uh, it and like a couple of summers ago, it got to like 103, and the humidity that day was 93 percent. That was one of the worst days I remember in quite a while. This was three or four years ago. Yeah, 103 with 93 percent humidity. It was torturous outside. Thankfully, I didn't have to do anything outside that day. Because if I had, I think I would have just canceled it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to throw this guy over here. Grass is always greener. It, it always seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll take it, though. I'm, I'm jaded by all these years of extremely hot weather here. I'll take it. I'll take the snow. I'll shovel the snow. I'll shovel you guys' driveways. With a, with a, without even a snow plow. I'll do it with a shovel. It does not bother me. They love the one... Yeah. <laughs> you know, one day out of the year that you get snow in Oklahoma. It's pretty much the same here in Alabama. Pretty much the same thing. Alright, we're on the verge of losing yet another life. There goes another life, man. Oh, well. Oh... This challenge is not going down without a fight. This challenge is putting up more struggle than I thought it was going to. We now we more than likely don't have enough lives at this point to get through it. More than likely. Because the boss at the end of the next stage takes two or three to get through by itself. Alright, we just got a uh, one up back. All right, let's kill the big boss, man. If you guys remember wrestling from the late 80s, early 90s, there was a guy named the Big Boss Man, and this look, this guy looks just like him. All right, about to die again. Man, this is just a terrible, terrible run. Gotta throw this guy out of the way. Okay, he's gonna swap to his gun now. Can't let that happen. Alright, one more hit and he's down. Alright, we got him. Jesus. Barely. Barely. Spring weather's your favorite. You can do without tornadoes. Oh my god, the tornadoes. Yeah, in Oklahoma, that's where pretty much the tornadoes are the worst in the entire country. They're not good here either, here in the southeast, but yeah, Oklahoma's always been known as Tornado Alley, so yeah, always be extraordinarily careful there, man. You, you, you would know that. You would definitely know that. I've, I've dealt with quite a few here as well. All right, we can't let that guy hit me if, at all costs. That Axel and Slash guys do massive amounts of damage. There's a tornado. What size? That sounds about right, doesn't it? And up to 115 here in spring this year. That might have been the temperature with humidity factored in. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, earlier this summer, like late summer, the heat across the entire country was just absurd compared to what it normally is. It was actually hotter up there in Somniosis than it was here. And same with New York for a while. Like, all the heat was up there and on the west coast more so than in the southeast, which was really, really strange to me. Normally it doesn't work that way, but you guys got more heat in a lot of cases this past year than I did, which is amazing. How did that jump kick miss this guy? How did that happen? The hitboxes are not very accurate in this game. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and complain about that right now. Yeah, that was the big, bo big boss man versus the Mountie. Oh my god, you remember that. <laughs> you remember that. <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to bring it up because I didn't think anybody would remember that, but that's crazy, Coffee. I can't believe you remember that. I liked wrestling back in that time period when it was WWF and you had all the old school guys in there. That, that was like the golden age of wrestling. I thought it was a lot, lot of fun. Alright, I'd rather do that and let this guy run me over. We had an F4 tornado here uh, in 2011, and that was very, very frightening. A lot of people died from it. 
I'm hoping to never see that again the rest of my life. I did see that tornado at a distance. Thankfully, I was not affected by it, but it was something. If you guys want to see that, check out uh, F4, F5 Tuscaloosa tornado. There's some really good videos of it. Very, very scary stuff. This has got to stop, man. These guys are just going to keep depleting my health every time they charge in. We have a small chance to do this still, guys. I've got five lives. It's not great, but there's a small opportunity to still succeed here. It depends on how this boss fight goes. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was an F5 because it had some of the characteristics of an F5. Bark was stripped off trees. Houses were completely gone from their foundations. So, I mean... A, a lot of people really think it should have been categor categorized as an F5. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Thankfully, it was it was a, several miles from where I am, so I was in no danger from it. Well, I, I could have been, but not, I mean, you get lucky if a tornado doesn't hit you from that type of range. Yeah. <laughs> Doing yard work and stuff out, out in summer, that's usually what I do. And Somniosis, what do you do that requires you to be outside a lot during summer? For me, it's mo mostly just yard work. You can pay somebody to do your yard work, but I mean, that, that costs extra money that I'm not really willing to pay. Did not mean to break that barrel. There is a sword over there. I see the handle. These guys have so much health, man. Nice three little knee combo. That does very solid damage. All right, he's dead. Maybe some health. There's a turkey there, man, or chicken. Chicken! It's not a turkey. It's wall. It's uh, floor meat. It's not wall meat. It's floor meat. There's another sword. We don't need that. All right, there's going to be some barrels roll in here. That's a one-up. That's a big deal right there. You guys see that little emblem of guy on the ground? That's a one-up really need that. That emblem of Jessica right there is an invulnerability. That doesn't help for very long, but I'll go ahead and grab it. I think it's better than nothing, I guess. Gotta take it. You get knocked down when you're holding the sword. You pretty much, it's pretty much gone, so take advantage of the sword if you can get it in this game. All right, run's looking a little bit better at this point. Killing a bunch of dudes. Let me go ahead and do that just so they don't hit me. Might hit me anyway. Sid and Billy, these characters were changed for this version. These characters used to be females in the arcade and they were known as Poison and Roxy. And this is the censored version. All right, this, is, this fight's going like really well. They're all dead. We just got another one up, man. Ooh. Random things to do to get cleaned up, sell, among other things. Yeah, th that's what I... Someone stole my boot. Dude, that's what I do when I do yard work when it's boiling hot outside. I take a, a wet towel and just drench myself with a hose and the towel at the same time. And that's what I do. <laughs> and it makes a huge difference. You're going to come in and take a shower anyway. You might as well just soak yourself down. And back during, like, summer and stuff, I played club soccer back in the day. And I had to be out in the middle of the heat for that. But that's okay. I wanted to play, but that, the heat did not make it <laughs> exactly pleasant. All right, here we are in the bathroom, by the way. You guys ever see some brawls in the bathroom in junior high school? I saw them, like, every day. <laughs> kind of fun stuff. I, kind of, I only got kind of involved in one. That, that's pretty good, I would say. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and keep, finish those guys off. Dude, we still got the sword, and we're doing damage to these guys. This is a, turning into a better run now. <laughs> Brawl in the bathroom. Nobody brought a sword in, thankfully. Nobody thought to do that. I brought my sword to school one time. That was only for a history class, though. <laughs> Dude, we're back to seven lives. Man, could have had so many. We're swords involved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there one could have been when I brought mine that day, but nah. I, I took it straight to the history classroom and put it in there. 
we were studying Japanese history and I've got an authentic katana so I brought that to school to show it and I just walked down the hallway of the school with it I mean today you'd never be able to get away with that but I was just like walking down all the hallways holding my katana in, a, in its sheath and no one thought anything about it people were like hey cool sword man I was like yeah cool I'm taking it to the history class <laughs> no one thought anything about it and it's a lethal weapon All right, we're not gonna pick that contain, not gonna hit that container yet because if you do, you have to fight three guys instead of two at a time. Dude, this run's getting better. I bet that's food. I'm not gonna hit it yet. Final fight expert mode where every enemy is a boss. Crudas, it does feel that way, doesn't it? It feels that way because every guy has so much health. I mean, these guys are taking three or four hits from the sword, which is the best weapon you can pick up in this game. All right, is everybody dead? Now we can check. A radio. That's worth a thousand points. Wow, that helped. What a piece of junk. What a piece of junk. Yeah, anything to cool down in the summer, take it when you're outside. Take it. My God. Ugh. Yep, that's what I did. Spray yourself down with the hose. Yeah, a katana. I've got it sitting right over here in my room. My old katana. Actually, actually, no, I don't. I, I, I put it back in the box. I'll, I'll bring it out one day and show you guys. It's just like this, the ones the guy's holding in the game here. It's a pretty authentic one. It's kind of rusty and beat up, but it was a gift from my a dad's stepfather. That's how I ended up. And then he gave it to me. That's how I ended up with it. I thought it was sitting right over here, but it's not. All right, these guys are hopefully going to just kill themselves. holding yours you'll have to show it sometimes on when, on one of your streams boot like when I'm there sh show it to me what are you I'm missing stuff here I remember the principal giving us a this is a knife lecture when I was in sixth grade or something probably 2001 to yes yes that's awesome Janice thanks for the follow man I really appreciate it thank you so much Weapons are only dangerous when people wield them, pretty much. Which, these days, when somebody's bringing something to school, a lot of times it's for the complete wrong reasons. I didn't even think about that stuff when I was in school. That was a long time ago. I was in, let's see, I brought that to school when I was in my junior high school year. That was 1994. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I'm 40 years old now. For you guys that are wondering how old I am, I'm 40. Getting real close to 41. <laughs> It has been quite some time since I was in mid junior high school and high school and all that, and I, I, I must say I miss those days. Must say I miss them. Yes, I would like to see that boot. I would like to see that. I'm interested in that kind of stuff. Don't you dare hit me. Hey, Celestial, what's up? There goes the sword. Oh, it's still there. Never mind. All right, we got to do well at this part. We got to fight a lot of these guys with knives. And there's a lot of them to kill here, man. Yeah, the run's gotten good all of a sudden because I'm actually doing well at this stage. <laughs> Level three was a disaster. Now things have gotten good again, so th the chances of doing this challenge is increased dramatically. Oh no, he got me. How did that happen? How did that happen? It it's gonna happen, man. I can't complain about it. I've got to be thankful we made it that far with the sword. Jesus! It can, it, can, uh, it can unravel. It can unravel very quickly. Very, very quickly. Everything can come undone in this. It's lost a life there that we didn't need to lose. That's real unfortunate. Celestial, how are you doing today? Welcome in. Wonderful to see you as always. Uh, is this the same as before last game? Did you start all over? I've done one start over so far. We died on level two early on it, and I was like, I'm starting over. I'm done. 
But, uh... Hopefully this run will be better. Dying right there is real unfortunate, but th there's still a chance. The final boss of this game is a joke. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the boss we're about to fight very soon here. <laughs> you guys that have played this game know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is like one of the worst bosses in beat em up game history coming up because he's got unavoidable attacks. You have to spam your special to stay alive, otherwise he'll just kill you in two hits. Alright, so far so good. Alright, I want this guy to, on the other side of the screen. I want you on the other side of the screen. That's good AI right there. Look how well they're avoiding me. They are doing a marvelous job avoiding me right there. That's good AI, but very bad when you're trying to do this challenge. Act Razor 1 later. Good, duh, Celestial, good luck with that. That is insane. I want to try that on stream. <laughs> I want to try that. I love Act Razor. Act Razor is a wonderful game. Good AI once again by these guys. Alright, let's switch them over here. Yeah, the the guy, the cop with the gu with the uh, gum is not that big a deal. We already beat him, thankfully. I'm not. I'm, he's not that big of a threat. But the one at the end of this stage, Abigail, that's the problem. We're almost there, though. Yeah, the the big boss man guy is dead, thankfully. He's dead. Yeah, Terra Enigma is awesome. I haven't played it yet. I've watched a lot of other people stream Terra Enigma. I haven't. I really want to play that. That'll be an off-stream game for me. Don't really like to do RPG-type games on stream, especially ones I've never played. All right, I'm gonna stay back here for just a second. Let him come to me. Okay, I was wondering if that guy was gonna get up or not. Probably gonna cost at least two or three lives to beat Abigail. He's right up here. Maybe we'll get lucky and it won't be that bad. All right, good enough. We gotta keep them on one side. You do that, you're in good shape. What do the benches say? Leoski? Yeah, it do does look like that. That's gotta be something the devs put in there. Oh my, yeah, those guys are way, the signal enemies in Streets of Rage, they just have that slide and throw. These guys in this game with the radioactive suit on with the radiation symbol, God, they're, those are like the worst enemies in this game because they're so quick. Oh no, oh no, not these guys again. That's bad, that's bad. Alright, dead. The three hit knee combo does a lot of damage. More than a throw, I believe. All right, see that how quickly that drains his health? All right, that ought to finish him off. All right, I think this is health. I was hoping it was health. Maybe that's health. All right, we got more weakling guys to kill here. I think in the barrel right there, I think that's a chicken, so we're going to save that until everything is dead. All right, good enough right there. Gonna get, but gonna be another guy spawn behind me. No, okay. <sighs> Up and see trick in Streets of Rage. Yeah, if the guys throw you in Streets of Rage, you can land from it. I wish you could do that here. I really, really, really wish you could do that here. All right, it's time to fight Abigail, guys. Here he comes. This is the only way to counter that. I, I have no idea how to... God damn it, man. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. The little idiot guy hit me and ruined it. This is all you can do. You don't do this. He'll throw you or do the charge move. This is all you can do. All 
Awesome boss fight. Awesome boss fight, by the way. Love being able to do nothing. Bullshit! Bullshit! Complete bullshit! Complete bullshit. There's nothing you can do. You're gonna lose lives here. Hopefully he dies before I do. That takes my health to use that move, but it's better than getting hit because then kills me in two hits. That could have gone so much better, man. Whatever. Hide. Yeah, I gotta play the new Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage 4, I gotta play it. I love beat 'em up games. I grew up doing all kinds of beat 'em ups. Boot, so I gotta do it, man. I gotta do that. That'd probably be a good game to stream, too. I would like to stream the new Streets of Rage. All right, we'll get some points back here. Maybe get a life. We'll see. Uh, God, that was just not a fun fight whatsoever. I'm glad it's over. We got five lives. We got five lives. Let's see if we can do it. Uptown's a hard stage. All right, where's the barrels? I know about the barrels. That is a one. Got hit by a barrel and I lost the one up. It was a one-up on the screen, and I just got pushed off the screen. Okay, chances of success just absolutely plummeted right there. That sucks. Sucks so badly right there. That sucks incredibly badly right there. Nothing I can do about it, man. I gotta do that or take a hit. Man, this is just awful. Absolutely awful. We are on the last stage, but very precarious situation, man. Hey, Italian grandma, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Welcome in. Always a pleasure, man. Oh, we're doing terrible. <laughs> <laughs> of course no one up there no one up to be had there god I am so pissed off right now I, the barrel pushed me off the screen a minute ago and we did not get the one up okay, gotta do that I'm gonna get the invulnerability and see if we can use it to kill this guy All right, that was a little bit effective. Nope, gotta do it, gotta do it, or take more hits. Get, my God, man, as soon as you turn your back, they're on top of you. It's good AI. I'm not gonna discount that. It, it's good AI, but it's making this nearly impossible to do. It's really good AI on the part of the enemies for such an old game. Grandma, how are you doing today, man? Welcome in. Good to see you. Alright, we might actually survive through this to get a life back. I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, we're going to Silver Surfer later. Yeah, we're going to try that, depending on how this goes. The guy almost killed me right there. I'm going to try and get the health back. You can't get a chicken here, but now we're going to have to fight three guys at a time. Instead of two, but that's okay. Goober, how's it going, man? How's it going, Goober, as well? Great to see you, man. Trying to do this challenge here. It's not going well. A lot of mistakes. A lot of bad things have happened. Really, you can block my stuff. That's absurd. Alright, keep beating them up. 
I'd like to do Act Razor 2 at some point as well. I'm scared to death of that game. I watched Proto play it. Oh my god. Good god, man. <laughs> Definitely going to do it, though. We got to do it on hard mode. Proto set the bar really high. So, <laughs> got to do it on hard mode. It's going to happen. Welcome in, Goober and Grandma. It is wonderful to see you guys. We got a very small chance of succeeding in this challenge right here. There's a long way to go, but... So many more guys to kill, it's crazy. Have mercy, man. <laughs> Have mercy with these guys. Alright, Jay is almost dead. Jay is dead, alright. I'm looking forward to Act Razor 2. I know it's going to be ridiculous, but I, I'm, in a morbid way, I'm fascinated by the idea of playing it. I've played it very little, too. Alright, we got to break out of the combo by doing that. Alright, pretty good. Can drain his health really fast by doing that. Dead, okay. Oh, oh, nice impression of the Silver Surfer. One of, oh, yep, like this, coffee. That's what we're going to be seeing a lot of in Silver Surfer. We're going to be seeing a lot of that. Get ready. Cool. That's a good start. Alright, let's stack these guys up and we can do some real heavy damage to them right here. No, I'm hitting A! I'm hitting A. I didn't hit A quick enough. Lives are going to melt. They're going to melt away very quickly. Oh, not going to happen, man. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Got to get here with more lives. That's why I was so adamant early in the game about starting over and keeping lives. Every live at this point is a huge deal. God. Yeah, Grandma making huge progress on Streets of Rage. I mean, Streets of Rage. Castlevania 3. Dude, that Castlevania 3 is such a hardcore game. I underestimated. I didn't think it was going to be nearly as bad as it was. I'm just going to spam. <laughs> I'm in desperation mode here. They're going to get me. Alright, I actually hit J with that. That was nice gonna get me they're gonna get me they're getting me health is just absolutely disappearing all right that's okay they're trying to charge me I hear the noise from it <laughs> How much health, man? We just got... I just got an extra life and lost it immediately. Got an extra life and immediately took a hit and lost it. This is absurd. I hate this part so much. I'm gonna go jump in that pool in the background. I'm playing the last level of Castlevania 3 off stream to practice. Made it to Drac a couple of times, but I die right away. Uh, it, that level, man, is just absolute brutality. That one and the one before it are just insane. We gotta do that. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. That was actually good. No! Got to get them all on one side. We do that, we got a shot here. I hate these guys with the... Yeah, yeah I know you're trying to get behind me. I know. I, I get that. That's good AI. I'm complimenting the AI on doing a smart move there. We just got a one-up. Not going to get another one anytime soon. All right. Got to get rid of these guys. They will throw a Molotov cocktail in your face or a torch, whatever the hell they're doing. 
Yeah, the original Revenge of Shinobi game had Batman and Arnold and everything else. That It's actually hilarious. That's not the version I owned as a kid, unfortunately. I've seen people play the the version that got removed, and it's funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, Spider-Man's a boss. Batman, what were they thinking doing that? Sega, Sega had some balls back in the day to try and pull that off. <laughs> That's just insane. All right, more of these guys. That's okay. As long as you're at the top, the, they won't hit you. All right, I'm going to spam some of this because that's better than taking a hit from these guys. Okay, that's a big deal, getting them all on one side. That's half the battle, guys. When you're fighting three of these at once, you get them all on the same side, you're going to be in much better shape. That's a rule of all beat-em-ups. Keep all enemies on the same side. I realize that, but in this game, it's doubly important because of how quickly they can kill you. Don't block my stuff, man. Axel and Slash. Someone was a Guns N' Roses fan. Alright, there's stuff you can pick up right here for some extra points. Alright. This is one of the last parts of the game. We still have a long way to go, but... there's a ch If we can get through this particular area... I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. It's better than taking another death. It's better than another death. There's a chance here, guys. I'm saying there's a chance. It's not a good chance, but there is a chance. Or right, I'm, I'm getting real intense here, guys. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm missing anything. <laughs> Gary Coleman was a boss. What you talking about? <laughs> I liked Gary Coleman. He was a good dude. I liked him a lot. I was sorry to hear he, when he did pass away. I was real sorry to hear that. Alright, keep him on one side. The chandelier where the shadow is, that counts as a container, so we're only going to be fighting two guys at a time here. It'd be great to get another one up here. That would really make my... Don't you do it, 2P. I know you're behind me. Oh, this is not good. All right, let's see if we can swap sides here. There we go. That's what we wanted. There we go. It's working. No. I'm going to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't have a choice. Don't have a choice. I hope there's more food in the chandelier. Don't charge. God. This guy over there. So cheap, man. That's so incredibly cheap. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop this. All right, there's food, sushi. We'll take it. See, I would have died there right there if I hadn't picked that up. I'll take the hit. It's okay. Man, I am just on the edge of my seat here because we're close to being able to do this, but we're also a long way off still. Internet's holding up pretty good today, guys. I can't complain about that. We've only dropped 0.9% of all frames today. That's pretty good. All right, we've got to watch out for the barrels. And I was expecting barrels, not guys to fight. All right, that's what I wanted. Now we can stack these guys up. This is, de yes, this is the final level. And there's a very weak boss at the end of it. I'm not worried about that. All right, that's a good sign right there. These regular guys have so much health, you can't even see the full health bar. Okay, there it's dropping now. Yeah, Gary Coleman wasn't even all that old when he passed away. That made it even worse. Yeah, we got floor meat here and wall meat in Castlevania. Our heroes don't exactly eat super healthy. Kind of funny. All right, let's see what we get here. I'll take that. All right, there is barrels here. I got to be ready for them. There's barrels. There's some health and stuff there. All right, I'm not going to pick it up quite yet. I'm going to try and keep these guys away from me. 
All right, let's. Did not want to pick that one up. That gave health back. That didn't, didn't even need. Not much though. It's not that big of a deal. Nope. Damn it. Lost the sword. It's gone. It's gonna make our job a little bit more difficult. Got another one up. That's a big deal from points. You get enough points, you get a one up. Alright, I'm gonna knee this guy down. Oh man, this is scary. Alright, another kill. Doing pretty good at this part. Nothing from the barrels. That sucks. Nothing from the barrels. Those guys are dead. I'd rather do that than take a hit. No! <laughs> oh, got lucky there, guys. Could have taken another hit there and it didn't happen. I gotta do it. It's better than taking another hit. They're gonna try and surround me. That's okay. Alright, we'll throw this guy over there. Make things a little bit better. Man, this is intense, man. This is intense. We're always a couple of hits away from losing a life. That's what makes this so difficult. Alright, Axel's taking a beating. No dwarf statues coffee. None. None whatsoever. Actually, if they were in this game, they'd be good because they would give us more points. And points get you lives here. I wish they did in Ghost and Goblins. I wish they did something useful in Ghost and Goblins when you're desperate to get through those levels. Alright, I'll take that. All right, we got a chance here. We got a chance. I'm not going to get anything out of the barrels yet. There might be health there. There might not be. Not worth the risk. Going to have to do that. I'm going to check for some health. All right, there's a little bit right there. What is that, an apple? It's better than nothing. I haven't taken a hit in a while. That's good. All right, Doug is dead. Jake and Bread. Where do they come up with? These are, like, some of these names are kind of weird. Yeah, I hate those guys, too. They have a lot of health, and it, it's a pain to deal with them, because they've got some tricky moves. They've got a jumping slash move, a slide, and then throw knives. Yeah, <laughs> the barrels. Oh my God, insomniosis. The the barrel of like there's a fancy hallway with like red carpet, and you got an oil drum sitting on it. Yeah, totally in place here, right? That's funny. I didn't even think about that. That's funny. Yeah, it might have been lost in translation. You're not wrong. It might have been. All right, what's this? A diamond. I guess points. All right, there's another container. What is this going to be? That's invulnerability. We need some guys to kill, though. All right, landed a couple of knees. This Sid guy hits me one time and I lose that much health? That's garbage. All right, did some damage there. I'll take it. Hollywood. Somehow he got a hit in. I don't know how, but he did. Jesus! Alright, you pin these guys into a wall. They're more than likely dead. Okay, we just died for nothing there, basically. The last part of the game's coming up. We had a pretty good run there. Nope, there's more guys to kill. Never mind. I'm wrong. N you're not supposed to be able to escape the corner. Alright, we might... We might have them this time. Might or might not. I don't know. Alright, dead. That ended well. 
There was a death in there. Alright, this is the last part of the game, guys. There is places to get health back here, though. This is not that difficult of an area because there's health hidden behind these columns here. Capcom games like to hide health in places like that. Yeah, Streets of Rage definitely took inspiration. I'm glad they did. They created a wonderful game with Streets of Rage. I'm glad they did. Definitely places to get health back here, so I can be a little more liberal with my special move if I have to. We're definitely going to hold position here. I'm not going to do anything crazy or greedy or stupid at this point. We're going to fight very carefully. Yeah, the music's great here. This is... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pick that chicken up. It was hidden behind the column. Freaking bread. Hey, what's your name? My name's Bread. What's your name? Bread. Johnny Jeff's favorite NES game is Ghosts and Go Ghosts. Oh, okay. That's awesome, man. That's awesome, retro fan. I the Ghosts and Goblins series, it's always gonna be one of my favorites. Oh boy, a radio, that'll help. Alright, is there something we can pick up here? We picked up a diamond. We're close to probably getting another life. gonna be a, a little we just got another life guys that we got a good shot to do this now we did really well on this particular stage that's probably gonna be if we do this it's gonna be because of good play on this particular stage are those two other guys on the right side dead I don't even know I'm paranoid to find out all right it looks like they are Alright, now can I get health back here? Okay, there was a pizza hidden behind the column. Alright, anything back here? Diamond, there's more points. Take it. Alright, I want this guy on the other side. Yeah, the radio gives like a thousand points. It's one of the worst power-ups in the game. It does, it's practically useless. A thousand points in this is nothing. Yeah, what's the, I don't know what the ending's gonna be like. Guy is rescuing Jessica, who's Cody's girlfriend. Oh, that sucks. I hate those big guys. I hate them. Yeah, what what in the world is the ending going to be? I, I have no idea what it's going to be in this one. No, you're not going to leg bomb me or whatever move that is. Alright, we just picked up sushi. Nice cheap shot there by Jay. Appreciate it very much. I love when my jump kick hits no one. I'm just going to keep them at arm's length here. That would be the smart... The smart play would be to keep them at arm's length here and not let them hit me. And Billy sneaks in a kick anyway. Wonderful. Piss, that pisses me off. All right. Still no one up. How about how about some health here? All right. Well, I gotta try and get the health from this. It's a diamond. It's not health. That sucks. All right. Well, at least they're all on the same side. I can, that's good. I think there's multiple endings based on the difficulty. I don't think you get anything on the easier difficulties. It says, "Oh, try again" or something on harder difficulty. There went a life. We're near the end though. I'm on the same side. Perhaps Mayor Hagar wants his daughter to leave Cody and date Guy, so he's behind this trying to get them together. That wouldn't surprise me. Cody gets arrested or something down the road in like the Street Fighter series. He's a convict. So maybe Hagar knew, knew something we didn't. Maybe Cody's not a good guy. <laughs> maybe that's actually... Oh my god, I'm getting obliterated. Maybe there's more to the story. Man, I'm losing a lot of health here. Alright, that's good. Anytime we do some damage now, it's a it's a big win. Alright, how about some health back? I think Belger, the last guy, is right here. Yep. 
Alright, I know it looks like I'm hitting Jessica. The game wants you to think that, but it actually damages the end guy here. Sorry, Jessica. We gotta beat the crap out of you because it is hurting the guy that's holding you hostage. Sorry about that. The game wants you to actually think it's doing nothing, but it does damage, believe it or not. I found that out the interesting way on the version when I was a kid, on the regular Final Fight. God, Jessica's just getting her face beat off here, but it's all for a good cause. It's not really her. <laughs> Hold really still. <laughs> I don't think it's a wheelchair. I just think it's a chair with uh, the rolls on its own. Why the hell they decided to come up with this idea for the boss is beyond me. Alright, I'm dead, but I think he's pretty hurt. And we need to stay above or below him. Alright, it's better than getting hit by a crossbow. Stay above or below him, he can't get you with that crossbow. Taking damage, just gotta keep it up. I think we got him now. Be able to just finish him off with this. Oh my god, we're actually gonna succeed here, guys. Holy crap, man. <laughs> it looked ugly for a while, guys. It looked extremely ugly. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I did not think that was gonna happen. We got him, though. <sighs> that was close. Hey, Shuggy, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Good to see you, dude. Give Shuggy a shout out. Really good dude. Oh, thanks for the GG, guys. That was close. All right, let's, see. let's check out the ending. Daddy, I was so scared. I'm so glad they didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry to put you through this, Jessica. Okay, what's going to be different since Cody's not here? Derek, thanks for the GGs, man. Appreciate it. I thought for a moment that I was going to lose you like I lost your mother. I promise that I'll never let anything bad happen to you again, right? I wish the text was a little faster. It drives me nuts when you get a game with text this slow. Ugh. I love you, Daddy. Okay, what's going to happen with Guy? That's what we all want to know now. <laughs> what's going to happen here? All right, so in the arcade version, Guy and Cody are both walking away right there. And when Jessica shows up, Guy attacks Cody and knocks him down so that he'll actually talk to Jessica and not walk away. A lot of people thought that ending was Guy was jealous. I don't think that's the way it works. Guy is like this professional martial, martial artist. He's not going to get jealous like that. He's way too professional. Alright, I have no idea what kind of ending this is going to be. Is he actually going to steal Jessica away? That would be actually kind of funny here. I'm really anxious to see this. Guy, something's going to happen. Why are you in such a hurry, guy? Please wait. Oh, he's going to walk away. Never mind. I'm just glad you're safe, Jessica. Good luck to you and Cody. Oh, guy's such a pro, man. I'll see you around, Jessica. He just leaves. <laughs> I'll miss you, guy. Hey, he came through. He came through. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What a dude, man, right? What a dude. He could have just moved in on her right there. All right, what is this? Oh. 
Okay, that's what's supposed to happen in the arcade version right there. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. But Cody's not in this game, so this is what you get. Okay, that was kind of awkward. Oh, there's Guy. Alright, he's still pissed off at Cody, apparently. <laughs> that's cool. I didn't know it was going to do that. Alright, is, is that all we get to see here? Yeah, that's all we get to see here. Agar needs to come back with a truck. <laughs> He's gonna run over Cody. Cody's not a good dude, man. He gets arrested later in the final fight in the Street Fighter series. There's, there's, he's got problems. All right, that's the, that's the end of it. He just runs circles around him. Yeah, he ought to like hit Cody with like a kick to the back of the head right there or something. That would be funny. Cody gets framed. Okay, so there's more to the story than I was thinking. Okay, I thought something was actually going on there. I haven't looked at the lore of it. It's a modern game, which means I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to it, unfortunately. I know I should. All right, guys. Cody is also somewhat evil. Maybe he's like a, a vigilante that takes things too far. That would make a lot of sense, actually. That would make an enormous amount of sense got the same problem Ryu has dark tendencies I think we all do somewhat I, I think that would apply to all of us honestly based on what's going on especially with what these characters in the games put up with does he fight because he's bored yeah yep he, he does he absolutely does he, he basically murders mad gear all of them well maybe he's <laughs> maybe that's warranted in some cases maybe it actually is I'll have to read up more on the story Adrenaline junkie. I kind of, yeah, I kind of get that impression from him. I really do. All right, guys, good run there. I did not expect that challenge to happen. We had a good run in the middle of stage four and a pretty good run on stage five, so that allowed the 1cc expert mode clear to happen. So now we've done it with all three characters. We're pretty much done with Final Fight. I don't know what else to do with it. A deathless run, that's not going to happen. I'm nowhere near good enough for that. Nowhere near good enough. Saw the episode of 90 Street Fighter that included Cody and Jessica. I'm, I'm going to have to look that up. I'm, I'm curious about like the 90 series and stuff because I, I never saw it. I wanted to see that. I remember seeing it. Max score, I'll pass on that. <laughs> I think we got that. You, know, you can't do anything. I'm hitting all the buttons. It won't even go back to the beginning. Ugh. Cody was a nutcase, screamed about every single one of his lines. Okay, he's got maybe some anger management issues. He's a good dude, probably, just a little bit misguided. Guile or someone talks about how much discipline he has at the end. Okay, I gotcha. I just need to learn more. That's the whole thing here. Yeah, Crudas, we got it. We got the one credit expert clear with Guy. So we've done it with all three characters now in Final Fight, so we're pretty much finished with this game at this point. I don't know what else to... Really accomplished with it now. I appreciate it, man. It was a, it was fun. It got shaky a couple of times, but it worked out in the end. Definitely happy about that. So what I'm going to do quick now, guys, is take a very short break, and then we're going to hit some Silver Surfer. I have very little experience with that game. I'd like to play it, start working on it. It's going to be frustrating. It's going to be hard, but... I would like to beat it one day, and let's get some practice in. Let's start playing some levels. Let's see how it goes. So I will be back in a few minutes. Going to take a super short restroom and stretch break, and I will be right back. <laughs> 